plane is very flexible. These motions of the structure are demonstrations induced by the pilot's intentional activation of controls. The modern airplane is a remarkable, efficiently designed structure. It must be strong enough to endure and ensure many different loading conditions, yet to perform well it must be light. Hence, as you have just witnessed, it is inherently flexible. Now, flexibility implies that the structure will deform under load, and the deformation will modify the aerodynamic load distributions. Out of this interaction process between aerodynamics and structures, which is an aeroelastic feedback process, there arises a host of response and stability problems which must be understood and designed for in order to provide adequate strength and stiffness to ensure the control of the vehicle and the integrity of the structure. At the NASA Langley Research Center, Dedicated scientists and engineers perform basic and applied research on aeroelasticity. They employ specially designed elastic and dynamically scaled models that simulate both the vibrational and aerodynamic characteristics and supplement their use in wind tunnel research by mathematical analysis. This film will display some aeroelastic phenomena and associated experimental techniques. The Langley Transonic Dynamics Wind Tunnel is exclusively devoted to research on aeroelasticity. An elastically scaled model, in this case of the F-105 airplane, is responding to gusts generated by wakes of the oscillating vanes located upstream. A suspension system should allow simulation of all important modes of motion of a free airplane. In the wind tunnel, this is accomplished by this unique Langley two-cable system. Low gust rates excite the movement of the whole airplane. On the other hand, high frequencies excite the vehicle vibrational modes. Atmospheric turbulence is composed of a continuous spectrum of such frequencies and can affect passenger comfort or structural stresses. In addition to gust response problems, there are several aeroelastic instability problems. One of these is flutter. And as you will note, flutter phenomena may be quite violent Therefore, flutter must be avoided in flight vehicles by basic design. Now, scaled dynamic models, such as this model that you will see in the next scenes, are representative of full-scale airplanes and are tested not only for their responses below critical speeds, but also sufficiently beyond scale flight conditions at higher dynamic pressures, for example, in order to actually reach flutter speeds to help establish the margins of safety, to aid in flight vehicle testing, and what is also important, for correlation with mathematical analysis. The T-tail of a C-5A airplane is undergoing anti-symmetric flutter. The tufts help to visualize flow patterns. Symmetric flutter here arises by a change in the stabilizer pitch stiffness. Flutter of the C-5A airplane wing indicates, obviously, that flutter must be avoided in design. Transport airplane flutter shows that many vibrational modes are interacting and need to be simulated by both model and analysis. This flutter model of an SST type wing is unique in that its structural elements are scaled replicas of the full scale wing and even includes wet fuel tanks. An F 
2014 fire model experiences wing flutter. External stores or fuel tanks change the elastic behavior of an F-111 wing to cause flutter. A demonstration propeller model illustrates propeller whirl instability. A stiff suspension system is stable. A weak suspension system is unstable. A weak suspension system, coupled with the propeller gyroscopic motions and the aerodynamic forces, causes propeller whirl flutter. An early Electra model is studied in the wind tunnel. Note the motion on the outboard nacelle and propeller. Weakening of the nacelle engine suspension mounts led to a pitch yaw wobbling motion and to propeller nacelle whirl flutter. This vertical takeoff and landing tilting model of a prop rotor experiences a related prop whirl flutter. Similar general problem areas are of interest in many current types of rotor craft. An S3A patrol airplane model exhibits high frequency aileron oscillations called buzz flutter. These occur near transonic speeds and often involve shockwave oscillations. The F-14 model experiences flow separation at high angles of attack, as indicated by the tufts. Buffet of wing or tail is an important problem in combat maneuvers. Space vehicles also have aeroelastic problems. One such problem of space vehicles on the launch pad is galloping flutter. This is similar in principle to the well-known large oscillations of ice-covered transmission lines in winter storms. The shape of the vehicle exposed to the wind and its associated lift-drag characteristics are the critical factors. Note that even without wings, the D-shaped body is unstable. A type of stall flutter may occur analogous to certain stop sign vibrations in the wind. This flutter is limited to a narrow band of wind azimuth angles. Torsionally weak blades of helicopters, propellers, or compressors may undergo such stall flutter. Aeroelastic interference due to the proximity of wing and body or of two wings, they adversely affect flutter characteristics. A Saturn 1B model on a turntable undergoes large bending moments in simulated ground winds. Mathematical analysis of complex aerospace structures can be simulated on a computer and the vibration modes displayed. The sample modes displayed are those of a space shuttle vehicle and represented by a network of finite elements. Aeroelastic behavior in full-scale flight may be rather dramatic, as these scenes shown earlier attest. Note that the complete airplane responds to the pilot's abrupt movement of the ailerons alone.
This light aircraft is in a severe tail flutter condition, as photographed by a chase airplane. Fortunately, this was a modified airplane and is not a production model. As speeds and performance of light aircraft increase, much more attention must be given to flutter and aeroelastic behavior. A high performance sailplane of German design having stiff fiberglass covered wings exhibits classical aileron flutter. The aileron motion couples with wing bending. This flutter was eliminated by increasing the mass balance of the ailerons. The potential power and destructiveness of aeroelastic instability is no more vividly demonstrated than by the destruction by flutter in November of 1940 of the beautiful Tacoma Narrows suspension bridge. Winds of only 40 knots led to response and failure of this massive steel and concrete, but aerodynamically inadequate structure. improved understanding and mastery of aeroelastic phenomena for the design of high performance aerospace vehicles of all types, some examples of which have been presented in this film, remain stimulating and rewarding goals of aerospace research and development.